Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Street University here and welcome back to our custom farm series. Now this is the third part. If you haven't seen the previous two, you might want to do so now to get some context on what we're doing. I have linked both of them in the description below. So let's quickly recap what we have done. We have created a farm cache which is going to create a typeface for our custom farms and we have created a custom text view which always applies the source sense pro regular typeface. In the activity main XML, we have set that custom text view class to both of our text views. Now in this video, we want to take it a step further. We want to apply font styles. So we want to make the title bold and just keep the text down here regular. Now, if you are an experienced Android developer, you probably have seen this text style property, which offers you bold, italic, and normal. So let's set this to bold. Unfortunately, if we move over here, nothing changes. That is because if we go to our custom text view class, we always apply the source sense for regular, no matter what the attribute is set. Now I've added the other text styles over here. So we do have a bold, italic, and regular typeface. Now we have to extend the code to load the correct typeface on whatever the attribute on the XML is giving us. So first of all, if in the XML text style is set, it's going to get passed in the attribute set. So for now, we can remove this constructor since we're always expecting some attribute set. So the next step is to pass that attribute set to our method. You're going to do that in both available constructors. So the next step is to read the pass text style argument from the attribute set. And we're doing that by using attributes and get attribute int value. Now the first argument is the schema. The schema is what's going on up here, so in this case Android. And Android reference to this part. So we're going to create this as a constant in our class. I'm going to say, okay, the Android schema refers to this. So this is the first parameter of the get attribute in value. So the second value is the second value here, so in this case text style. You're just going to copy and paste text style. Now the last value is the default value. Now we're going to say if nothing is set, we're assuming it's normal. Now let's save that in a parameter, which we're going to call text style. And now we know why we're requesting an int value, because if you check out the typeface class, the bold normal or italic are actually stored in final ints. And the next part is to react to this textile argument. We have to load the correct typeface. So let's create a new method, which is returning a typeface since that's what we are expecting. And let's call it select typeface. And we're expecting context as always. And the text style argument. So we're going to move this part in here. And we're going to say select typeface context and the text style argument up here. Now we have to implement the logic down here. Since text style is an int value, we conveniently can use a switch. Let's say switch text style. And we're still using the standard values. So we can just say, if it's typeface bold, we have to do something. If it's type is italic, we have to do something. Else. 
And if it's typeface, that's not the one I wanted. If it's normal, or in all other cases, you're going to do something too. Now we already know this case. This is this one, right? So we're going to just going to say, okay, we're going to return the source sense for regular in the normal or in all other cases. However, in these two, we're going to change the code. We're going to actually say bold italic. And we can remove the break statement since we're turning it right away. And now we move the empty lines. And we're done. Now whatever we said here in the text argument, it's going to get passed to the constructors up here. You're going to read it here in the apply custom font method. You're going to pass it to the select typeface method. And then depending on the argument, you're going to load the correct font. So if you're going to run this and check it out on the emulator, we are seeing the title is now actually bold. Now let's do one more example and change the text style of the bottom part. Save it and run it one more time. Pop the emulator. And we will see both typefaces have changed. And that's it for this video. In the next video, you're going to go a step further. We want to add a new custom font and select which font we want on an XML property. So this is very exciting. This is probably the most useful part and stay tuned for it. If you want to read over the topic one more time, I've linked the blog post in the description below. If you like this video and the series, feel free to subscribe to us on YouTube to not miss anything and happy coding.